Am I the asshole? For potentially being the reason my father and his wife can't adopt or foster? So my father and his wife are unable to have children together. He has me from his marriage to my mom which ended because he cheated on her with his now wife. The affair was found out when I was seven and my mom left him straight after. I split time with both of them unfortunately, which meant I was around my father and his wife a lot and she tried to be a second mom to me which I think was shitty after she knowingly slept with a married man she was dating his best friend at the time too. My mom died when I was 12. Then I had to live with my father and his wife and had no escape from them. They tried to make me forgive them let go of what happened and they did a bunch of therapy with me. But I always told him I would stop speaking to him as soon as I turn 18. They found out three years ago that they could not have kids together and almost two years ago started the process to adopt a baby from foster care. During the process I was interviewed. This was in February of this year. I was asked questions about my relationship with my parents which I corrected and told them she was not my parent and he was only because of blood. Then asked how I would feel about a sibling and I told them I would have nothing to do with one and was planning to move and never speak to my father again once I turn 18. The social worker looked kinda alarmed by that. She asked me about my father's family and I said they disowned him after he cheated and so did all of his friends. Soon after the interviews were done they were rejected and told they could not provide a suitable environment for a child. My father's wife fell apart. I heard her say mom must have been cursing her from beyond the grave. She's really religious and does believe people can send good or bad luck from beyond the grave. She's still not over the news and a few weeks ago my father was telling me I should take pity on her and at least be friendly to her. I asked why I'd do that and he said her dream of motherhood is over. I told him I didn't care. He asked me if I had something to do with that. I shrugged. He then went off on me saying it was cruel to punish them this long. He said they could have provided a child with so much love and it was wrong to say things that got in the way of that. She sobbed for a week when he told her. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole you were asked questions and you answered them honestly. As long as there were no lies then you did nothing wrong. It amazes me the amount of people that break up a home, move in marry an affair partner, and then are all shocked Pikachu face that their kids aren't happy about it and resent the parent for it. Also sorry about your mother. Not the asshole you gave honest answers to the social worker. Good on you. I wish crappy parents were required to get input from their current children before breeding more children, smiley face. In all seriousness, I do not believe your interview is why their application was denied, given the high rate of children that need homes. Regarding the cheating they say you lose em the way you got em. Your biological father's current wife is in for a big surprise when he cheats again. And it has nothing to do with beyond the grave. Info how did your mom pass? I'm going with not the asshole for one simple reason, the social worker asked you a question and you answered with the truth, you had no intention nor the need to cover up for them, if you lied or simply not answered with the full story and they ended up with a child but didn't treat them right, then part of the fault will fall on you. I heard her say mom must have been cursing her from beyond the grave. She's not wrong. What's left of your mother in this world is putting her in her fucking place. Not the asshole emo. Did the cheaters really think they would have happily ever after? Not the asshole social worker should be prioritizing the well-being of the child, not the feelings of prospective foster adoptive parents. Your interview wouldn't have been the sole factor to that determination, but it also wasn't ignored either. It helped provide context as to how the prospective foster adoptive parents have parented previously which is important to be considered. It would not have been good if you were dishonest or provided false information. It was decided that they were deemed not a suitable fit. That's on them, not you. Not the asshole you were not the reason they cannot adopt. The social worker made a decision. Not the asshole you were honest. You did the right thing because there is a lot of people that should not be foster parents. The goal of fostering is reunification not finding a shiny new toy to adopt like they seem to think. 
These are children that have gone through something horrible and need support. Not the asshole as a former foster kid, let me say thank you for being honest with the SW. Too many potential and current foster parents exist that look at us as social and spiritual commodities. We are not someone else's second chance at fixing their own screw-ups. We are not their missing parts. We are not their gifts from God. We are not their practice children or their public redemption props. We are children who need care and love and attention and help. Selfish and self-serving people who become foster parents never succeed at giving us that. Not the asshole, you were honest. She's really religious but she slept with a married man? Not the asshole. Your father is looking for a scapegoat, and, pathetically, he chose his own son for that. You might have not helped, but nobody knows for sure why they weren't accepted. It's absurd to point at one thing and saying that's the reason. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Like others have said, your interview wouldn't have had a significant impact on their decision unless you mentioned abuse and neglect. However, judging by how you describe the social worker's reaction, I wonder if your answer caused them to be caught in a lie. I'm so sorry for your loss and wish you the best. Not the asshole. You weren't the reason. The social worker was the one who made the call, based on the cheating, which they probably lied about. I'd quote her criteria was, and I doubt that having cheated on someone years ago actually makes you unfit to be a parent, but, they cheated. That's a thing they did. This, apparently, is one of the consequences. They could have provided a child with love. Maybe. Could they have raised it with respect and responsibility instilled? Nope. They won't even hold themselves accountable for their actions. No need to let them ruin a child and raise another person who doesn't believe in honesty or integrity. Screw them. Tell them you are your mother's karma and they can both be childless the minute you can move out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, you just stated your truth. Actions have consequences and your father and his wife need to understand it. It is sad her dreams of becoming a mother are shattered, however, that burden is not on you. Not the asshole. You told the truth, which was the right thing to do. Not the asshole. You spoke your truth. In essence they want the new shinny family and it sucks that their actions are not making it possible. Honestly I think you just saved a child. They both suck as human beings. Not the asshole. You gave your side of the story when asked for it. Sorry, but cheaters don't get to decide how and when others should get over their betrayals. This is either fake or there is something you don't know. Married couples with a good income don't get rejected to foster and adopt because they have an unhappy teenage son who calls them cheaters etc. The care system is overspilling with kids, and the caseworker would have acknowledged your statement but it would not have been a deciding factor unless there is other stuff going on. Not the asshole. This is the consequences of their own actions.